please give it up for Q Don, everybody. Give it up. I'm a good man. Great to have you on the show. So for those of you who don't know, Q Dot is from Federal Way. He's been Grammy recognized. Uh, he's been Tacoma Weekly Artist of the Year. He's had hundreds of thousands of views on his music videos and stuff. So Q Dot, can you tell us how did you go from living in Federal Way to doing all these things? And then also, now you're, you're local again. I'm not sure your whole journey exactly. Could you tell us a little bit about that? There ain't nothing in Federal Way, man. <laughs> 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 I love Fed Town. That's, my, that's where I grew up. Uh, but I, I always lived in like Northeast Tacoma. I went okay. to school in Federal Way. Okay. And uh, this is a true story. This is like about a decade ago, I was uh, trying to figure out where I was gonna live. And I was like, I could go to Seattle and do this, or I could go to Tacoma and do this. And I came downtown and I parked behind the Harmon Brewery. And I said, yep. This is it. I'm coming to Tacoma. Wow. And that was it. Wow. I'm coming downtown. That's really cool. And then so you, you moved here and then so you, now you own your own like production company and what is how did you get from parking in a, in downtown Tacoma <laughs> to owning your own production company? <laughs> so, <laughs> that's a long story, but man, it was a lot of luck. Um a lot of luck into like people that I grew up with. Um I got involved with the Recording Academy, which produces the Grammy Awards and all of that. And wow. I've, I messed around and got nominated twice and lost twice. So I'm a two-time Grammy loser. But We are too! <laughs> we are too! <laughs> so that kind of like, when that happened, and, and this is a true story, the, the first uh, category I was nominated in was like Best Urban Alternative. It wasn't televised. <laughs> and normally, when so when the Grammys come on or when that season comes up there's thousands of submissions okay. and this was a new category and I was like one of like eight people in it <laughs> so I was like automatically nominated almost. but you got nominated I did, is the I thing. Did. and I lost <laughs> and I lost and then it happened again and so I was like you know what man I don't even really know what a Grammy means so <laughs> I'm gonna just give this up like it's not like a like an MVP in football where it's like oh he rushed for a thousand yards and it's like you like you were cool and people liked your stuff <laughs> so here's the nomination kind of, is that what you're saying it kind of, well here's here's another true story that i'll share with you i was actually on a couple of committees uh to nominate artists on the grammys and literally it's like five dudes in a studio drinking some beer and we go through this well, now they email all the submissions in, and, and we listen to about 30 seconds of each, and we drink beer, and we're like, ah, nah, we'll, we'll get back to that later. We don't like that. We <laughs> love this. And it kind of goes on all night until we kind of narrow some of the fields down, and then it goes out to the voting members, and boom, there you have it. So are you listening to, like, Taylor Swift and yes, Kanye West? absolutely. And just, nah, not that one. Yeah, <laughs> but, you know, as you continue to drink, like, you start nerding out on, on music producer stuff, like... <laughs> Yo, I know the the songwriter who coached the backup vocalist on this Taylor Swift song, and I really owe her a favor, so let's keep that in the... This is how the Grammys are decided? This is, I mean, it's, this is how the field get po gets populated, and then it goes out to the voting members. Yeah. But essentially, the field gets populated by a bunch yeah, yeah. of drunk guys talking about the favors they owe to... God don't like ugly, and I can't lie in front of God. We are in a Lutheran school, so I, I'm just keeping it real with y'all, man. So you have, you have two things on your Facebook, on our personal information. Uh -huh. The two pieces of information you decided to put on your Facebook was that you were named after Quincy Jones. Yes. And that you own, uh, is it a, a, a bull? A bulldog. A bulldog. You own a bull. I, those are the, yeah. Why those two pieces of information? <laughs> I mean, because, I mean, here's the thing, man, like, the one thing that always irks me about musicians is those long third-person bios that you know they wrote, <laughs> but it's like, from an early age, so-and-so fell in love with music. Like, nah, man, like, we're going to just skip all that and get to the stuff got a people want to know. <laughs> got a bulldog named Bongo, and... <laughs> Bongo? <laughs> Bongo the Bulldog. I don't have Bongo. I actually, because my daughter was allergic to her, so 
I recently rehomed her with a good friend of mine. Um, wow. Yeah, that was hard. That was a really, 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 really tough decision to make. Like, legit, I cried. Um, wow. Yeah, I had her since she was a puppy. So, um, and that was before the kids, and like, that was my baby. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, I was named after Quincy Jones. True story. So, I got four older brothers. They named me. Because my name, <laughs> my name was going to be Hayward. That's my grandfather's name. And I, I don't know exactly what happened. I don't think they knew that my name was going to be Hayward. But the story goes, it was, you know, 4th of July that night. Hulk Hogan won the WWF title. It goes into <laughs> July 5th. My dad calls home. Your baby brother's born. Hayward's here. And they were like, ah, no, he's not. <laughs> so... My pops apparently was like, well, y'all got like 30 seconds to find a name. <laughs> what? And the first thing, so my dad's a huge music junkie. Huge, huge, former DJ, back and all of that. And the first thing they found was a Quincy Jones record. And they were like, well, we naming him Quincy. That's it. You were named in 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. I was named after Quincy Jones and a doctor. My middle name is, is named after like my grandma's doctor, it's Dr. Adwan. So, so not, like, not like a doctor of science, just like but your grandma's doctor. No, but it, it makes sense because those are the two things. Like I'm writing my dissertation now, so I will be technically Hold a doctor. Up. And You're I'm writing your dissertation? Musician. Yes. Um, what is your doctorate in? In industrial and organizational psychology. Yeah. Does that relate to music? Or? Yes, because my, so the topic of my study is how music industry entrepreneurs create and exchange value in a digital economy. That is definitely industrial. By drinking beer and then... The, <laughs> <laughs> that man. Doctorate finished. Yes, <laughs> pretty much, pretty much, yeah. So you're doing music, you're getting your doctorate, and then yeah. I, I saw that you have this like cool multi-platform thing where you're releasing an album that has to do with nature, and then yes. you're partnering, you're doing a clothing line, and you're partnering yes. with a coffee shop? Yes! Yes, 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 yes. How does that work? It works very simply. Not really. Um, so here, here's, here's the, the thing is, um, I, if you go back through my old catalog, I was really trying to tell stories, like a linear album that you listen to front to back as a story. And it wasn't until um, like a year ago, I started recording again, and the whole theme was just outside. It was just nature, outside. And I would really got back into the outdoors at that time, started camping a lot, hiking a lot, doing that, and it just, it fit. And then I started to notice something. I was like the only black dude at the campground. So I was like, yo, there is a real thing out here. At that time when I was doing that, I got hired to produce like this festival for REI. And we had musicians come out. And I I realized then that like they were really big in outdoor diversity. Mm -hmm. So I said, well, here's a way for me to take this story that I have in my head, make it musical, but then also have something to the music will benefit. So um, the album is a long title. I was super in PhD mode at this time. It's <laughs> Experiences of Adventurers, Dreamers, and Overachievers. And so um, that oh, was so the that was, point. So that was finished as the After Achievers? So will you say it one more time? The Experiences of Adventurers, Dreamers, and Overachievers. Wow. And so the whole story takes place outdoors and now, like, all the merch for it and the coffee, mm-hmm. which shout out to Anthem Coffee. Those are my guys down there. Uh, Brian is the man. We decided to, like, I hit up Brian, like, yo, how do I get coffee made? Like, there's nothing better than, like, waking up after camping and having, like, coffee by the fire pit. Yeah. And he was like, yo, you want to do like, this Yes, together? I've been there. I've been there. Yes. <laughs> of course. Yes. I uh, don't like coffee, oh. but... <laughs> You won't be getting a bag of coffee. <laughs> no, but did you bring one for me? I did it. We're all sold out, man. Honestly, we wow. sold it. Yeah. So the whole goal with that merchandise is to raise money to have a summer camp for um, 
kids from underprivileged areas wow. to be able to get into the outdoors. So we'll have a summer camp next summer, taking all the sales and royalties from streams, and we're going to get some little tents and camping kits. Dang. And we're going to round up some kids from around Tacoma and Fed Town, and we're going to go camp out and teach them how to be good stewards of nature. Wow. Yeah. Hey, you just combine the whole like the whole you put thing. everything you could possibly put into the project you, you put it in there yeah you know i go into every album thinking this is my last one so i gotta go all in and i'm like <laughs> you know like six albums in or whatever so and I that's figured, why you've got the long title is because this has got the everything's got this a, is it <laughs> yeah. this is it so i need all the syllables and i need all of that and i need my story down i want y'all to go listen because if you listen to it front to back you will get the story Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Thank Q you. Dot's coming back from our game, as, as is Victoria Woodard's. We'll be back with more from Late Night after this. Give it up for Q Dot, everybody.